So Netflix is making a tremendous investment in original programming. I mean, they, they smartly so are realizing that having exclusive content is the way forward for them and has been for you know the, the, since their adoption and moving moving to streaming that having something that you can only get on Netflix is key to driving new subscribers and then keeping new, uh, the existing subscribers happy, and they call them members. They're spending $5 billion in content this year alone, another billion dollars in marketing that content. The majority of that is spent on originals and things that, again, that they can have exclusively. At the beginning of this year, they turned on the service globally everywhere except for China. And for them, their metrics are purely about subscribers. They have a long runway to go. They have 80 million subscribers now, and the way they look at their marketplace and the addressable market for them are broadband households in the world. Studios have been in the business of building and making compelling entertainment for years, but they don't actually have a direct relationship with their consumers. When you think about the life cycle of a movie, there's always a gatekeeper. So if you're going to the theater, it's actually the theater owner that is selling a ticket. If you're buying a DVD of that movie, it's a retailer selling that DVD. And now tech and entertainment companies are more intertwined than they ever have been in the history of entertainment. And those entertainment, those tech companies that have brought a tech point of view and that have this discipline in terms of having a direct relationship with their cons consumers have really excelled and thrived. And so you think about companies like Amazon and Facebook and Netflix, certainly, where they actually know who their customers are. They then, in the case of Netflix, have the opportunity to see what those people watch and understand what they like and then serve up relevant programming at the time when somebody is gonna be interested in that programming. So it's no longer about demographics, it's really psychographics and what people are watching and emotional connections. You know, there's always going to be a demand for great storytelling and content continues to be king in this space. So there, that, when I talk about the studios being you know, able to provide value through this chain, they are, have been experts a long time in terms of developing stories, telling stories, and creating great content. I think they will continue to do that. They'll need to be able to, to embrace technology. Some of them have done it better than others in terms of really, again, developing that direct relationship with consumers that's going to allow them to be wholly successful in this new ecosystem. <laughs>